got a great big log in there. How do they do it? How do they do it? Hello everyone, welcome back to Raspberry Rock, where I'm starting to think I'm Russell's doppelganger. If you'll remember last week's video, I broke up a beaver dam, spent a lot of work one day doing that, uh, to great effect, because the water level in the beaver pond was going down very, very nicely, uh, only to find out the very next day that the beavers had built the dam right back up. Look at this! Holy shit! And uh, <laughs> right back up to where it was before, before I even started. Well, uh, I'm going to do it again. And while there were several uh, good comments in the vi under the video on how to stop the beavers from building up the dam, we're not going to do that. What we're going to do is we're going to set up the trail cam to film them setting it back up. Yeah. <laughs> is that is that right? The only my only problem is uh, how to mount this thing. <laughs> I can put, I can definitely put a stick. Ooh, it's really gross. I can definitely like shove a stick in there, but then, I mean, this is meant to wrap around a tree, right? So I gotta figure out how to, how to do that before I go. Okay, well that actually didn't take long. <laughs> I found this thing. I'm not even sure what this was originally for, but uh, the camera mounts on there. I don't know, you can see this. The camera mounts on there nicely and it has all these holes in it. So I could just shove a stick in there if I wanna make sure it doesn't go any further and also it's closed at this end and I feel that I should be able to take that off but uh, it's on there good but it's open at this end so I can take a, um, a beaver stick that I find at the pond jam it into the dam and then just pop this over top of it and uh, I have a feeling I'm gonna want it right up at the top there and kind of point it down towards the dam or the spot where they're going to be working uh, pretty happy with that actually <laughs> all right let's get out there <laughs> oh. <laughs> we'll have to watch that. Perfect. Wow. Almost perfect, Amy. That's water. We're being smart this time, carrying my boots over the dam. <laughs> what a gorgeous day it is here. All the trees are changing color. Just absolutely beautiful. Mm. 
you can see it's still all flooded through it here. Water level hasn't gone down at all. In fact, it's come up. The water level's come up. Because I think the last time we could see more of the roots of this tree. Oh, thanks for that, Willow. All right. So I'm not going to film this in as much detail as, as I did last time, because it's I did it last time. If you want to see that video, I'll put it up here in the corner. You can click there to watch that, the detailed breakdown of this dam. But for now, I think we're just going to time lapse this shit. You guys OK with that? You're OK with that, aren't you? All right, let's go. Let's do it. Let's do the thing. I don't know where to start. You can do it. Had a girl. Come on. There you go. Good girl. I thought that was going to be easier than last time. Because, you know, it's all fresh, all, you know, new stuff just kind of dropped there. But no, it, if anything, it was harder. It's like the beavers said, hey, uh, that, that last dam came down too easy. So this time we're going to. Build it faster, stronger than it was before. Is this an ad for the Six Million Dollar Man? And why haven't they rebooted that movie anyway? Seems like a good one. Six Billion Dollar Man. Anyway, this tree that has somewhat become our barometer, or our yardstick, I guess, would be a better term. Um, we can see more of the roots there anyway. I don't see the stuff moving towards the dam like it did last time, but maybe more water has to go out. I waited around for a while last time before I came over here. So we're going to head back. I'm hoping that uh, I set the, the sensor level on the trail cam to high because I didn't want to miss anything. But I'm hoping it doesn't just say, hey, you're running water, let's film that. And use up all my, my, my memory stick for running water. But, yeah, we'll see. Once again, a new day has risen. Funny how that seems to happen once a day. Anyway, uh, yesterday I went back, came back to the cabin after I busted up the beaver dam, but I went back with my laptop because I wanted to make sure that the camera placement was right. Uh, so I took my laptop so I could see the videos on the card. I don't know, something going on with them. So I could see the videos on the card. And yeah, the camera was way too close to the, the dam and it was kind of too high. So I had, I, 
I moved it several times trying to find the exact right spot and hopefully I got it in the end. And hopefully something has happened overnight. Uh, so we're gonna go see, we're gonna go get it. We're gonna, we're gonna do this right now. Well, we're back. Let's walk through a spider web. The flooding is, a lot of the flooding is down. Uh, but I don't hear a rush of water anymore, so hopefully the beavers did their thing. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> Again. Please tell me I got all of this on the trail cam. Look at that. Uh. A great big log in there. How do they do it? How do they do it? Jeez. Look at all the mud. I, how many beavers worked on this? Uh, maybe we'll find out. <laughs> maybe we'll find out. Trail cam. You better have done your thing. <laughs> so I took a quick look at the uh, trail cam footage. It's all there. Unfortunately, the camera seemed to have had some kind of focusing issue. It kept hunting. So I hope that doesn't distract from it, but I'm gonna show it all to you. Here we go. This is what you're here for.
got a great big log in there. How do they do it? How do they do it? Jeez. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you in the next video. Peace out.